In this video we're going to look at using the resistor equation and we know that the resistor equation is R for resistance equals V for voltage divided by I for current and we're going to build a circuit to look at it with. I've drawn my circuit in light grey so that I can start to fill it in. So the first component we have is a resistor and the question we're going to ask ourselves is what is the value of this resistor? and we know that the voltage, the potential difference, is 4 volts and we know that the current is 0.2 amps through the resistor as shown in the diagram. So we can work out that R equals 4, the potential difference, divided by 0.2. Now what does that equal? If we get our calculator, 4 divided by 0.2 equals 20. So the answer is 20 ohms. So we have identified our first component. Now let's add a second component. We add a second component which is a second resistor and this time we know the value of the resistor. The resistor is 40 ohms. So the question we're going to ask ourselves now is what is the potential difference? What is the potential difference across my 40 ohm resistor? Well we need the resistor equation first of all rearranged to V equals I times R and we don't seem to have enough information because we know R but we don't know I but we do know I because they're in series and we know that the current is the same in all parts of a series circuit so it's 0.2 amps through our 40 ohm resistor so now we can write 0.2 times by 40 so V comes out to be, get our calculator, 0.2 times 40 equals, and the answer is 8. And because it's a voltage, the answer is 8 volts. So now we know the voltage across our second resistor. So now we're going to add a third resistor, and this third resistor is going to be in parallel with our first resistors. And the question we're going to ask ourselves is, what is the current flowing through this resistor? Well, we need to know something about it. So we'll make this resistor a 100 ohm resistor. So now we need to take our resistor equation, rearrange it to give I equals V over R. And it appears like, once again, we don't have enough information because we don't know V. But we do, because we know that voltages in parallel circuits are the same. So this is 4 volts, this we worked out was 8 volts, so this is therefore 12 volts, 4 plus 8 is 12, so it's 12 volts. So we know for our final resistor that I equals 12, oops, wrong colour, I equals 12 divided by 100, which we don't need the calculator for, it's 0.12, and because it's a current, it's measured in amps. Is there anything else we can find out about this diagram? Well, we know that to make current flow, we must have had a cell. What do we know about the cell? Well, what we know about the cell, or the battery in this case actually, is that the EMF of the battery must have also been 12 volts because it's in parallel with the two resistors, the 4 and the 8, which add up to 12, and it's in parallel of 100 ohms, which is also 12. How much current flows from the battery? Well, we know the current here is 0.12 amps, because we just worked it out, and therefore we know that 0.32 amps flows from the battery. So there are three examples of things you can do with the resistor equation.